my name is Steve Robles. I'm from the Perimeter Solutions, uh, a retardant base, a mobile retardant base. Uh, this program here consists of uh, myself and three other gentlemen uh, to work at this area here. We're located out of Dal Bell Training Center. As soon as we get the message, it's just uh, maybe 20, 10, 15 minutes from, 20 minutes from our hotel to the site itself, and we're on our way. Location, um, easy access of the roads. Um, our trucks are very big. Uh, once those tanks are put on top, we're looking at a 11 foot height clearance that I need to get to the site itself. So that needs to be determined if limbs need to be limbed up or out of the way so that we can safely get in there. Perfect world would be a uh, hydrant, you know, pressured hydrant. A lot of times there's, that's not the case. So then we'd have to go into a couple, uh, two 10,000 gallon uh, tank, uh, pumpkins, uh, which is gonna call for multiple water tenders at that thing, at that point. I would like to take the time uh, to discuss uh, ordering a portable uh, for a site location. Some of the things that I consider I look for is obviously you can see the size of our equipment is uh, sort of large, so the space is very important. Second of all, uh, water uh, source that we would need uh, in order to operate, um, which is you know the ordering agency that's ordering it uh, would have to help us out in getting that uh, so we can meet that. But having these pre designated areas set up before a fire season starts where I can actually have these put down on a map and uh, as soon as we get dispatched I have a location to go to I've already visited that location and proved it um, so setting up uh, versus standing around and waiting to be uh, for a location to be found is is very critical for an IA for initial attack so if we could just get these everyone to find a spot let me take a look at them we can get them on a map uh, then I can just come in and set these up. So you can see the size of this place. Uh, I'm able to do turnarounds with my trucks, have my crew working with forklifts. Uh, portable is sitting perfectly. Behind me is a hydrant, pressured hydrant. So that's very important. Uh, so I have no problems at, at, at setting this up quickly and operating uh, for as long as they like me to, to operate. Water is definitely some of the issues that are around, especially around this area that we have. So you might have to go to water tenders, hydrants down the street, whatever it may be, that could slow the process down. But other than that, um, we can still make it work no matter what. Once we, uh, once we get the call uh, to a site, um, it's very important to have something designated where I can set up rapidly within a couple of hours. Uh, if not, then I find myself, and I have been on incidents where I've waited up to a day and a half uh, to find a, a, a location or for them to find a location for me. So uh, it makes it very hard for me to get set up and, and start to engage in uh, this, this far. MRB, mobile retarding base, uh, is what we have here. This portion here of it, there's a bulkhead in the middle of this. This portion is 3,000 gallons of water. Second portion over here is uh, 6,000 gallons. And that's where the mixed product would be uh, put together with the water and powder at that point. Okay, down below, this unit uh, has uh, two Cummings diesel engines. One is a mixed uh, pump motor, and the other one is a recirc offload uh, pump for that side. So, uh, continuing down is what I have is two air blowers here. And just keep this in mind: it's, they're, they're very small, but but they're very they're very effective. Um, once again, 6,000 gallons you have up here. You see the numbers there. So what happens is once I engage my mix pump, water is taken from the front, transferred to the back, up into the top, into an eductor, which is a 350 gallon uh, eductor, creating the Venturi effect. A vacuum up on top, which this line here is a powder line, which is connected to this. Those blowers there are also connected to it. This would make it rise, where I'm able to pull the, pull the product into the tank, mix it together while it's getting in here. The other side is that, that mix, uh, is the research pump that I was telling you about, where I gauge that and the product starts to mix inside. And once I, I get it to where I need it to be, then it's ready to offload and out to the tanks itself. 
So the two tanks I got out there is obviously the one furthest out is the product tank. That's where the ships would actually hover over and pull the product into their tanks and take it out to the fire. Second tank is a, a washout tank is what we call. So before a helicopter can go back in to camp or a base, uh, they would like to wash out their tanks of the product itself. So that's pure water.